Hello, my name is Chris St. Clair and I recently retired as a partner from a 35-year career with KPMG, one of the big four global professional firms providing accounting, tax, and consulting services. In my long career, I've had the opportunity to work in four very different cities in four very different roles. And most recently, I was the Southeast leader for our consumer markets practice, focusing on companies in the retail, food and beverage, restaurant, and consumer product businesses. And very important to me, I was one of the founding members of KPMG's Women's Advisory Board and took on the national leadership for some of our initiatives that focused on the development and advancement of women. Today, I want to talk to you about accepting or even seeking change in your career and in your life. A change in your responsibilities, in your functional area, in your surroundings, or even in your environment. Change can be so invigorating, energizing, and life-changing. In today's rapidly evolving world, as businesses get larger in their scope but smaller in their connectivity, as markets expand rapidly but become more intimate with customers, there is so much opportunity for change. It is time to embrace that change and put it into your own personal career plan. Let me share with you some of my own personal experiences and outcomes. One of my first big changes came shortly after I made partner at my firm, which was a huge milestone in the professional services field. My company came to me and asked me to relocate from Southern California to Dallas, Texas, and to take on a very different client-facing role. My immediate reaction was, but I haven't done that kind of work. But I have a great home and friends here. But I listened, and I agreed to go look at the opportunity, and ultimately accepted the assignment. Now, while there were early moments of frustration and fear and maybe even a moment of regret, it gave way quickly to the excitement of all the new doors opening for me. New leadership opportunities, new experiences, new friends, new business contacts. Within one year, I realized how much better my life professionally and personally had become. And the changes that I was experiencing and embracing. Eight years later, I was asked to make a similar move. New assignment, new city. This time I didn't hesitate as much. As I had learned that I could manage through change and that it helped make me a stronger leader, a stronger person. One other major change which I sought out was to change the function I had been in after 28 years. I moved from our audit practice to our consulting or advisory practice. That change once again opened new doors for me and I loved every minute of it. It has made my life much richer by having that opportunity, by living in different cities, by developing new friends and acquaintances, and experiencing different cultures. I wouldn't trade any of these experiences for anything. And as I meet and read about some of the great business leaders today, I am always so impressed with the zigzag of their careers. I was recently preparing to introduce Anne Mulcahy, chairman and former CEO of Xerox Corporation, as a keynote speaker at an event in New York City. I was amazed at the twists and turns in her career at Xerox. All of her career with one organization, but in such a vast array of responsibilities, all of which to help to build her strong leadership skills. Whether it is global assignments, or moving from sales to marketing, or going from global employers to an entrepreneurial organization, it becomes clear that there is a pattern of success around change. Seek change and prove that you can be adaptable. So today, as I sit with my mentees, or as I conduct one of my performance management sessions, I always ask about the individual's plan for change, building change into your plan, communicating your interest in being mobile, or desire for new assignments will help to get you on the target list for new opportunities. It is important for you to take the lead in controlling your own destiny, not to wait for it to happen to you. Start thinking about it now, and be open to it when it's presented to you. I look at some of my colleagues and friends over the years that are working in the same organization, in the same city, in the same department, and I feel tremendously grateful that I've had the variety of experiences and the empowerment that comes from change. It enriches your life, making your own life tapestry much more colorful. Go for it. Accept change. Seek change and embrace it. And good luck.